<laughs> hey guys, it's Adam, aka Swimming Bird, and welcome to Fantasy Life. I'm here with my little pets, Pupadoo and Peapot, and we're gonna go turn in some quests to Master Cervantes, and today, we're gonna further the story, maybe get a new life, and try that out, and I also have some more quests I wanna complete, so we're gonna fight some more monsters as well. But first, let's talk to Cervantes. Ah, oh, good to see you, Slimeo. Have you been honing your skills properly? Anyway, what are you here for? I'm gonna report in, because we did complete a few quests last time. Looks like you've been busy, youngin. Let me take a look at your achievements. We might have leveled up here. I don't know if we got enough stars to get up another rank as a mercenary. So close! 50 more stars, and we will get there. We're still fledgling. I see you're still but a young fledgling. You've got a long way to go, youngin. Okay, so yeah, we do have to kill some more stuff, but I'm gonna try a different life. You guys have been really good leaving me tips, telling me where to find carrot monsters and uh, how the lifes work and stuff like that. Uh, I can change a life and still keep the skills that I have in this one. I won't be quite as strong as I am as a mercenary, but that means I can get new skills. So we can slowly just try to do some of the other lives as well. Before we change lives though, the butterfly did tell me I should visit the Castell General Goods Store here. That's one of the requests and this will give me a little bit more bliss. So maybe we can get a horse or, you know, more pets in the future. Welcome to Castell General Goods. You, we don't just sell the goods, we sell the grades. <laughs> How can I help you? She's got a cool little hat there. Hello. Oh, hey, the butterflies here. They got some crazy teddy bears and, and rabbits and stuff. Wow, you got a little bit of everything here. Mostly like toys and stuff, it looks like. Well, that's what I thought until just now. We sure don't have any talking butterflies, I can tell you that. But feel free to browse our wares at your leisure and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, will do. You have so much stuff here. Do you specialize in anything in particular? We deal in all types of consumable items and tools, but our best seller is definitely the HP potion. Ooh, I could use some of those. It restores some of your HP when you need it. Even the fussiest kids love it. It's really a must-have. How about a taste? Sure, I'm not hurt, but that sounds good. Sure, if that's okay with you. Is you gonna give us over to the butterfly? Butterfly needs nectar and sugar water. Here you are, my little butterfly. <laughs> it's just funny how the butterfly's just talking for us all the time. Wow, that really is delicious. We aim to please, we aim to please. We've got a nice SP potion you might be interested in. Can't be without these these days. Uh, SP naturally recovers by itself, but it can take a while. If you need a boost and a jiffy, this is what you want. Can I try some of that too? <laughs> Just giving them all this stuff. Well, I mean, sure, I suppose, why not? Great, thank you for your hospitality. We aim to please, if nothing else. I'm just getting all these free things. Here you are. Man, the butterfly is going to be more powerful than I am here soon. It's really, really musty. It kind of tastes like feet. <laughs> Way to keep it classy, butterfly. I like to think of it as having more of an earthy toad. It's a nutty flavor. I mean, it's not for everyone, but I did give you that for free, you know. Honestly, if you ever need to recover my SP, I prefer to just drink some juice or something rather than wait. I'd prefer juice as well. Well, I ain't got for any for you, uh, but you might want to take a look at the life cure here. If you ever run out of HP, use one of these and you'll get right back on your feet in the same spot you fell. Oh, I could really use one of those. We've gotten close pretty a uh, few times here. Invaluable when facing formidable foes. That means it's really valuable. It's on the pricey side, but definitely worth the dosh. I suppose you'll want to try this one too. Mm, <laughs> taste testing, make sure they're not poisoned. I'll warn you though, this one is an acquired taste. I like acquiring things. Go ahead and hit me with a little splash. And just go ahead and take one, my treat. Please, take some samples with you. I hope they'll come in handy. We just got a bunch of free stuff. Nice. I don't have to buy any of these. Save my dosh for a new home or something. Okay, and we got a life cure. Awesome. Uh, thank you so much. I love samples. Don't be a stranger, you hear? Sometimes we get special items for folks who are full of bliss. Sometimes we don't, but sometimes we do. <laughs> to make sure to pay me a visit if you happen to be feeling especially blissful. Thanks for the patronage. Well, for the visit at least. But do come again. Okay. Well, we got some free samples thanks to the butterflies talking, and we also completed one of the butterflies' requests. That was the last one, so maybe we'll get some more story stuff and uh, progress where we're headed. Get a little direction. I've just been fighting lots of monsters. There we go. Okay, let me see what else they have. Well, uh, welcome, well met. Well, uh, blow me down. Is she Popeye? Let me see what, what else we have in the store. Heal weed, vital weed. So a lot of these are like uh, different things that we can use in alchemy and stuff. I might get... Oh, that's pretty expensive. I was thinking about trying out the woodcutter job. What does the teddy bear do? I guess you give it to kids or something. I was thinking about trying out the uh, the teddy bear job. I mean, <laughs> the teddy bear... <laughs> There's no teddy bear life. I was thinking about trying the woodcutter one, so I'm like, I wonder if I'm going to get an axe uh, just given to me, or I have to get another one. We'll see. Okay, so we can... Uh, one thing I do want to check eventually is the real estate stuff, but we could also go and talk to Pam because 
there's these little passwords that you can put in to get free items, and they're all over the net. Tons of people have lists of them if you want to uh, get the passwords. That's I think the exchange clerk is the one that does all the passwords, so let's talk to her. He's sleeping. Mm -hmm. Sorry, busy sleeping. Read memo on desk. Uh, thank you very much for purchasing the Origin Island expansion pack. That's what I did, so I got the bird and some extra stuff. If it's alright with you, I'll just be taking a little nap until we're ready to start. To ac activate... Okay, so... If you want to go to the DLC island, you have to do all that stuff. At least that's what I heard. I thought we were going to be able to do the passwords here, but maybe not. I think that's where we would go eventually. Maybe Pam has the passwords. Hello, I staff the real estate advice desk during the day. Are you looking for a new home? Ooh, maybe we can get some uh, some details about the new home. That's just her. Yeah, okay. Well, she's not budging at all. She's just saying like, if we're looking for a new home. The cabin, the fixer-upper, or the manor. Which house would be perfect fit for you, dearie? I don't know. I don't think we really need to change houses right now. It seems like she's not being all that cooperative anyways. Okay, we'll come back later. I don't think we can do the password thing in here yet. They mentioned that uh, that we could talk to someone, but I didn't see them. I'll try to figure that out, and the next time we'll do it. Okay, there's these brutes. Give me back my candy, Pierre. My brother and I have always been masters of wrongdoing, but that's all in the past now, mostly. Sure. Now I have a sword. <laughs> I see most people judge me and bro, but we're only citizens. We uh, pick up litter, you know? Okay, maybe they're not all that bad. Alright, so I think we should try getting a new life. So we're going to go in here, and uh, I got uh, a few passwords from people. We're talking about the uh, some of the armor and different items you can get for the house if you do that, and I'll have to do those next time, and we can start decorating our house a little more. Let's change my life. And uh, I think I might try. We have been a mercenary before. Let's try the <laughs> the outfit's really funny. Let's try the woodcutter one, because then we can explore the woods that is uh, in the grassy plains. Puppa do had a blast. What the heck? <laughs> what happened there? And Peapod had fun. Did their friendliness go up because I changed lives or something? That was strange. Oh, congratulations, Slimeo. Welcome to the woodcutter life. I'm sure you already know this, but your first port of call should be your new new master. I've already marked the location on your map, just in case you're not sure where to go. Off you go. Best of luck. Okay, let's go talk to them. Oh, where did... Oh, no. I think it's because we changed lives, it sent Puppadoo and Peapod home, and they had a lot of fun in the time that we were traveling. I'm going to go grab them, and we will report to our new master and see what it's like being a woodcutter. Okay, so before we go talk to the Master Woodcutter, I'm going to go to the post office, because that's actually where you do the passwords. I've been waiting so long for a letter from my love that I'm now a post box, a life I dreamed I never dreamed of. <laughs> uh, someone should really write an opera based on my tragic love life. Posty? He's just stuck in that little post box costume. How degrading. Well, I'm going to just try to, my hand at getting the... There we go. There's the password clerk. That was easy. It's a plushling. I have plushy rare items for the taking, but first the squeak password, if you please. Alright, so I got this one from my buddy Josh, and uh, you can find these pretty easily online. This one is called Fired Up, and it is case sensitive, and I think it's pretty, there we go, space, and then it's lowercase, U, P, and an exclamation mark, and this should work here. Let's try it. Fired Up, did we get something special? Password correct, here you go! Haha! -ha. So we got... The Dragon Whelp Head, and some other stuff. The obtained, the Inner Dragon, which is a little costume there. Dragon Claws, and Dragon Stompers. So it's like a whole dragon wardrobe, and dragon wings as well. There we go, nice, a whole dragon outfit. Let me see if I can equip it, actually. I can't use, I can use my uh, my Claymore still as a woodcutter, but I can't use a lot of my armor when I'm this uh, profession. So yeah, these are really good. It's, it's probably gonna make it a little easier now that I'm just starting out as a woodcutter who can't do that much, you know, it, as, in terms of attacking and stuff. But if, if this is a little too overpowered, then I'll switch back to my normal clothes. But look, I'm a little dragon. I look like a nap dragon. I also had my charm on, but it looks like the wings are a little better. So yeah, we're kind of a bit better than our level now, which should help us out there as a little fledgling uh, or novice woodcutter. So it should be a little easier. I'm gonna go try to find my master, and we'll start that quest. But yeah, look, we're a little, we're a little dragon guy. So that's gonna <laughs> scare some people. It's just the way he runs too. It looks like it's just this crazy nap dragon baby running around Castell, <laughs> scaring people. It's <laughs> awesome. Another tip that someone gave me: if your stamina is going down, I actually did this. 
before they had told me because I figured it out, but if you hold down on the control pad, you can sit down and it will recover your stamina a lot faster, your SP. There's a few different uh, directional things that you can do. Uh, the little control pad is your emotes and you can change them. I always use the, uh, the top one when we start an episode. I do a little cheer so that you guys can uh, say hello to me and I can say hello to you. Hey, what's this guy up to? Palm. Uh, chopping is a serious workout. I need to refuel. I could definitely go for an apple or two, but to be honest, I'm kind of picky about what apples I eat. I'll only munch on the best. How about you fetch me ten Castell apples? Check the trees around Castell on, in the grassy plains. I'll give you ten oak logs and two hundred dosh in return. Have we got a deal? I guess. I think I have some apples. Okay, much obliged. I'm not sure how many I have. Probably not enough yet, because we only had so many things that we got. I only have two. Okay, we have a lot of items. <laughs> Slimeo is adorable in this costume. Okay, so we're supposed to go talk to Heiho, the uh, master woodcutter. He's got a great name. He's over here in his little adorable house. And uh, so this is one of the gathering lives. And once we get some of this, it should help us a lot. We can craft a lot of different things. And uh, hopefully it'll be good out in the woods. Hmm. Who are you? Another woodcutter wannabe? Well, I'd say you've come to the right place, but that wouldn't be entirely accurate. Stick around long enough and you'll see what I mean. Hmm. <laughs> Why are you dressed as a nap dragon? So I can skip the introductory quest and just receive my license if we want. I kind of want to do the quest so you guys can see what it's like doing the different lives. Anyway, it's true that our services are in high demand here in Riveria. For barrels to bows, you can't build much without quality timber. Truth be told, the kingdom would be another great woodcutter. Could use another great woodcutter because it sure I sure ain't cutting it. Well, why? Well, it really boils down to one thing. I'm pretty much the worst woodcutter in the world, that's why. Maybe I shouldn't have told you that. I suppose it's not exactly confidence-inspiring. Mm, let me make it up to you. Take this. It should help you get started. Nice. We got a worn axe. So after your first life, you don't have to do the introductory quest, but I think it'll help me learn how to do stuff a little bit. And I can do you one better. Go talk to a guy named Forrest. Uh, it's it's Forrest. Forrest out in the eastern woods. He's the teacher you deserve. The, kind of the unofficial woodcutter master right now. What's wrong with Heiho? Why isn't he so... He's just not very confident. He's supposed to be my master. Ah, oh, legendary lumberjack. <laughs> I think, uh, it seems like there's always somebody who teaches us beside the master, because we had the little, uh, Miguel, the little plushling guy, was the dude who taught us how to do stuff. And, uh, Cervantes was just who we reported to with the quest. Okay, so, oh, hello. Oh, there's a little Lucky, the little puppy for the archer here. Woof, woof, hey there. <laughs> I don't have my little guys yet because I think we actually have to complete some quests. My dash went up a little bit, and then we can actually start bringing my pets with me. I, I miss Puppadoo and Peapot already. Oh, hey, are you the aspiring woodcutter we heard about? Great, all right, take it away, forest. Ugh, here goes. Grab your axe and get to chopping. The forest calls, you best be hopping. It's logs and timber roasts all day long, so swing that axe and sing along. <clears throat> Ugh, I wouldn't warm up. Uh, <laughs> warmed up. Let's give her another go. Your actions out so sweet and true, the birdies stop their song for you. When lunchtime comes, we take a break. It's time to eat a pound of steak. That's a lot. Uh, that's just a wee ditty I sing to myself to pass the time. Mm, see, cutting's a mite easier when you got some rhythm, eh, mate? And you, I'll fix you for learning. Off we go. Forrest, I, I don't think that's going to cut it, so to speak. <laughs> you have to actually teach people how to cut the wood, remember? Not just sing about it. Sometimes I wish I'd chosen another discipline. The other masters actually instruct their pupils instead of just singing. How's it you have so much energy to cut trees and so little to devote to anything else? Ah, classy, I get it. You didn't want to lecture any further. Uh, to be honest, I know Master Woodcutter. Who is the Master Woodcutter in this? Oh, I didn't mean that. And uh, look, we've been ignoring this poor novice. Sorry. My dad sent you here to speak to Forrest, right? Good. Well, it's nice to meet you, Slimeo. As you might have gathered, this is Forrest, one of the most talented woodcutters in Riveria. And I'm Monica, a novice woodcutter. I help Forrest out with various tasks, and he's teaching me the trade, kind of. The novice cutter is soft and weak. One couldn't have chopped through a handkerchief. Yeah, but when your arms grow strong as wood, that's when you earn your livelihood. Come on, Forrest, now's not the time. I think Slimeo would really like to learn how to swing an axe today. I have a point, lassie. We're very well, Slimeo. Let's get to swinging, shall we? First, get all the yaks real comfy like. Aye, that's a pure dead grip. Now you just need to s learn the swinging piece. Uh, I'll show you how it's done. You don't need to press any buttons just yet. So we learned wood cutting. Awesome. That should be. He just looked like he chopped her in half. That was crazy. 
Okay, so we can equip and uh, examine trees, plus press A, and when it hits uh, zero, sounds easy enough. Okay, it uses a lot of SP though, so we need to make sure we can restore it there. All right, continue pressing A to continually conserve. Oh, so we have to press it. There we go, okay. And uh, use X to attack. Give me more, okay. That seems good. Ah, look at that, choppy choppy, there you go. Well, <laughs> look who can teach up a storm when he wants to. Twas nothing. I know truly a teacher. Young Slimeo here is a wee prodigy. All right, young Slimeo, got a challenge for you. This here forest is right bursting with juicy oak trees. I want you to <laughs> to do is cut them straight down and bring me the oak logs. You understand? Uh, if you run out of trees to chop, come and let me know. Uh, I'll run ye on another errand. Good luck, Slimeo. I've got some errands, so I'll catch up to you later. Okay, let's try this out, and hopefully we don't chop any bunnies on accident. Poor lassie, she's Aho's daughter. She's uh, So she's got the woodcutting blood, but she's a mite feeble. But she insists on helping me around here with the woodcutting chores, so I cannot say no. I suspect she feels badly about her paw stepping down. Ugh, enough about that. It's time you went out and start chopping. Alright, let's go chop some stuff. Can I get these trees here? We have to go into the forest area over here, it looks like. Grab that, okay. And uh, where? Oh, over here, there we go. She's gonna talk to me about chopping trees. Hey, check it out, Slimeo, oak trees. There they are, they are kinda like the Animal Crossing ones a little bit. Got that striped trunk there, it's cool. I mean, sorry, it might have been more fun for you to discover them on your own. I'm just trying to be helpful. I know I try a little too hard sometimes, so I'll just stand back and let you do your thing. Good luck. Oh, one more thing, be sure to have your axe equipped before you start. And one last tiny, tiny thing, if you're low on SP, just drink some apple juice. Ah, oh, nice, thank you. No, that's good. I wonder if I could turn it back into app. Oh no, my bag is full. What do we need to get rid of? It's a consumable, so I need to get rid of something. I guess I'll just get rid of this forest mushroom that I just got. All right, discard it. Ah, uh, that's sad. I need to sell some of this stuff or put it away, it looks like. I should probably do that before we start chopping. So we're gonna do that next time. I'm gonna go run back and store some stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Next time we'll get our little Papadoo and Peapod from the house, and we'll go back out adventuring and fight some stuff as well. And, uh, oh no, I'm stuck here. I can't get out. <laughs> Let's chop some trees really quick, I guess, because I can't go back, and uh, hopefully I have enough room for this. My axe is not equipped. Man, let's do that, since we have our sword. I think it's, uh, there we go, it's in the tools. Now ah, I've got my little axe. Oops, it did, took it off there for some reason. Okay, no, we have it equipped, there we go. So we can have both at the same time, that's easy. All right, chop, chop, chop. Here we go. Oh, it's just kind of simple here, but not not too tough. Used a bit of stamina. I shouldn't have ran around so much, or else we would have uh, not used as much power there. I gotta throw some more stuff out. This is horrible. I really should have sold some stuff before this. I guess I can get rid of some honey. And uh, oh, I just ate it. Oh, there we go. Actually, recovering SP. So that's good. I'll sh I can use that apple juice as well. Might as well just get rid of a bunch of things that res uh, restore SP. And uh, then we'll clear some spots. There we go. That should be fine. Grab this real quick. There we go. All right, now we got room for these. I want to try the uh, attack. There we go. <laughs> Whoa, I forgot Slimeo's voice is so deep because he just did a crazy, yeah. Let's do one more tree and then we can probably get out of here. How about a huge swing? There we go, felled it. Two blows. All right, so we got our oak logs. You did it, Slimeo, nice work. Sorry, did I? Sound too much like your instructor? Maybe I should go into teaching. Well, anyway, you did a great job. Let's go check in with Forrest and tell him about it. That was easy. Oh, she joined me. So this is like Jude in my mercenary party. We have Monica with us today. Okay, we gotta talk to Forrest. Might as well complete this, I guess, while we're going along, because otherwise we can't get out of here. Oh, I guess we can. <laughs> I'm running away. I'm taking Monica with me. Ha ha. Let's head back home. I'll show you where I live above this one lady's house. Thank you guys for watching. Monica, you will be my dragon bride. Uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time for more fantasy life.